Kia ora and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elvie and today we are looking at um, a sketchbook I recently finished. So it was just about a month, um, the 26th of July to the 25th of August. So not that long at all. Um, the sticker I got from a very um, good ramen place in Christchurch, if you're wondering. Um, the sketchbook itself is by C. White of Brighton. I don't know if you can see it on the back there. Um, but yeah, we'll look through it together. Okay, so first spread was actually my friends. We went to a cafe together. Very common theme throughout my sketchbooks. Um, I helped one of my friends make a sunset because they're quite difficult to paint, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then the other friend she did a house which we call the gingerbread house which is always fun um, moving on I went to a cafe just by myself and painted this one um, it was a bundle of not a bundle but a bouquet kind of of dried hydrangeas and it was quite fun to paint I'm not happy with it but you know it was fun it was a good experience and then here is another little doodle it's kind of painting mirrors of what was behind me so that was quite fun to try um, and I think it was pretty fun and successful um, then we've got these ones which I actually really like these are very suggestive paintings I wanted to change it up and try a different technique um, and so it was very fast paced um, no sketching out um, beforehand and just kind of winging it so these are just my art materials just lying around on my table and then the only thing I really sketched in was the face of the cat because I felt it was very necessary um, to add in moving on we've got some more cafe paintings um, this is just the coffee machine and this one I was actually really quite happy with it was paintings and paintings and um, just trying to make sure it got um, was captured so I had to paint them all <laughs> all to, to make them look alike and stuff but I quite like that one and this spread is quite a nice one this is just of mum and dad back home just walking along the beach um, and then we've got the river back home which is this one turned out quite fun um, next spread um, I, once again my friends did these one of them did the Grand Canyon um, which is a very difficult thing to paint, so kudos to her. And then my other friend, she wasn't too inspired. I think they were both having a rough day with painting. Um, but she did this one, which was... She changed from one thing, and then she started doing another thing, and then she settled on this. Um, but, you know, we all have a bad day, and I'm just happy they did something. Continuing on, just a doodle rose, because that's always <laughs> so fun to do. And... Um, yeah, don't take any time at all. And then this one over here is another cafe painting. <laughs> There's lots of them in here. Um, this one was just a speedy one before my other friends got to the cafe. And then those said friends did these ones. So one did a part of a bridge. Um, and then the other one did like a little landscape and... Then the other one, she did a salt and pepper. And this is the first time she's featured in a sketchbook or done any art with me. So it was actually really nice to have her join along. She also does some more in the book. So this one is in Christchurch. I was seeing my mum and we were going up for a flat trip. And there was beautiful daffodils at the um, place we are having breakfast. And so I wanted to paint them very loosely. <laughs> um, so I could actually enjoy breakfast as well. But... Moving on, we've got this one, which is, you know, shocking. It's a table number um, for, from where we got breakfast. And these, uh, this is after the trip to Christchurch, but we also all got like a frozen drink. Um, and so I painted it in gouache, which looked quite cool. I'm just using washi tape for the borders or my thin masking tape, if you're wondering. And then this is the watercolour version of the drinks. I've done this one, which is like a little chandelier with foliage around it, which was quite cool. And that's just painted with gouache. And this one is a review that I did here on the channel. Um, 
looks quite cool all painted out like that and this is a painting I did with said watercolors I actually quite like this um I think I, the spread was also with those paints just a doodle painting one and then a cat continuing we've got another one I actually do quite a lot more of these throughout the book because I really like the style it's just like a very simple painting down here with a swatch of the colors in the set up here we've got the Daniel Smith Chronacridomes because I hadn't painted them on this paper yet and then we've got the um, da Vinci set Denise's Da Vinci set which I actually really like this spread this one's quite beautiful and satisfying to look at um, moving on we've got some more doodles of stuff on my table um, quite fun didn't use my brush pen here to, to um, pull it out of the woodworks you know <laughs> um, got some more random doodles just from around in my room this one was quite different I tried to use different colors instead of the actual colors on the mug but um, I wasn't quite happy with it and that's completely okay <laughs> we've got some recipes so I painted the food and then I wrote what I made it with same over here and then we've got some more little doodles we've got a landscape up here very abstract one quite nice though and then we've got a cute little hedgehog over here turning the page this is with my friends once again um we've got lani here doing a perfume bottle and then we've got one of my other mates she did a the river back home and then me and my other friend we did these two <laughs> we were like rushing these because we had like 20 minutes before we had to leave um and we hadn't even started painting yet so quite proud of the two of us <laughs> and cherry blossoms are quite hard to paint so she's not overly happy with this one but the building behind turned out really well i think and then turning the page this is a strawberry drink that i tried for the first time it was interesting not my favorite but interesting and interesting enough to paint <laughs> I've got a doodle spread because they are so good to do and then these two I'm actually quite happy with these ones like you know taking my time with it this is me and my siblings when we were little um me being a diva and my siblings being so over me and then I did one of my dad as well um a lot more time and effort went into these two you can probably tell and it was nice to do that for a change because sometimes I just am very interested in what I'm painting and the subject matter and I want to um, make it look good so <laughs> that's that did some more doodles with my friends so me and one of my mates we were like stuff this let's go to a cafe together instead of studying so I did this one it's quite gloomy compared to my friends very bright one of the flowers across the table I was very proud of her, especially with this gradient um, up here. I think they're leucodendrons or rhododendrons. I think leucodendrons. Um, but they turned out really well. And some daffodils, of course, because it's spring um, coming up soon. So they're very much in season. Moving on. Um, this was just the other day, actually. But my friends, they did a joint spread. So they were like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to... Um, push ourselves because the landscape the view from where we were was stunning it was a beautiful day and so they wanted to do a joint spread um they did half and half each I think they both did really well um and you know some areas like I feel like this area was really done nicely and this area was done really nicely so it's like they, they both did really good I think especially it's quite a difficult thing to do and I think it looked really good and then me and my other friend, we didn't have much time, but here's another feature from Lani. Um, and that was the time. And then we've got my little abstract drink um, as well. Another doodle spread, but this time it's like a full spread, which looks really cool and very trippy. <laughs> um, and then we've got a very loose drawing. Pinterest um, was my inspiration here. Same here. But this is just with the um, Amy set, that travel set. Um, just using those colours. We've got some of the Da Vinci paints up here. Just a 
very beautiful. And then we've got this, which is what I meant by that style comes in again with the swatch and then a little painting. This one's quite cool. This is my travel set down here. And then the Denise's Earth Friendly set over here. And then the last spread is just a little one of home with the um, brush pen and the bottle brush tree and my dad's pink shed that he made for mum during lockdown. So very nice way to end off the book, I think. Um, so that's this book. I really enjoyed it for watercolour. It hold, held the water paper, like watercolours really well and I didn't find any troubles with it at all. Like I heavily enjoyed it so yeah um if you guys want to get a sketchbook i definitely recommend this one the next one i haven't tried um the paper yet but i bought this one so it is the strathmore visual journal watercolor one i've heard good things about it but time will tell and you'll hear my final thoughts and opinions about it as i use it i suppose but that's pretty exciting stuff for me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just seeing what I've been creating recently.